let's start planting. It's March. Frost is gone in California. And it's zone 9B. Uh, it's not, there's none in the forecast. And I'm ready to start planting. I've already started planting. I started planting a week ago for my warm, loving flowers for my cut flower farm. And I'm going to show you what I started and what I'm going to be starting this month. So we'll start with what I've already started. Uh, I started with a week ago, I started planting basil. This is Sweet Danny. I got this at Geo's. Uh, I don't know if it's a typical cut used for cut flowers. Uh, I just seen the stem length on it and so I got it. It looked like it would work right. Geo's doesn't show pictures. Uh, they have great prices, but there is not um, good pictures. They have good descriptions, but not uh, good pictures. And no good pictures, no good pictures, no good pictures. No pictures. I'm gonna keep that in there just for, just for giggles. Okay, here's another basil that I planted last week. It's purple ruffles. I got that from Geo's as well. I planted this coxcomb variegated I got on Baker's Creek. Got this this year, never seen it in real life, just looked good, so I got it. I'm gonna continue on my crest successions every two weeks. So I planted this a week ago. Solosia purple, Chrissy purple. Never grown this one before. This one was an expensive one on Geo's. Uh, it was $7 for a hundred seeds, somewhere around there. I thought I'd try it. Amaranth, I'm growing three different varieties. Uh, I'm gonna start this one this month. It's the Myra, I got it on Geo's. Uh, Florette had this one and I seen it. And so then I went over, to, um, cross-referenced over to Geo's. Geo's was much cheaper. So that's where I got it. It's a, a purpley pink color. Uh, it's a little, it's variegated purpley pink with uh, green. It looked really nice. Looks like it'd be nice for wedding work. Looks like it'd be nice in bouquets. I used a lot of amaranth last year. Gumfrina, strawberry fields. Gumfrina, Aubrey White. I like to keep a lot of white flowers. Figwort, never seen it in real life. Never grown it. Looked really nice on Florette. The description was nice, so I got it. And I started, I already started that one. Those ones, all the ones I just told you, I just started. I planted a week ago. Um, I left my seeds outside and they got some moisture on them, but the seeds inside are not wet. So uh, all the Benaries that I'm planting are either from the Queen Lime series or from the Benaries Giant series. This one is coral. It's hard to find right now. A lot of places are out of it, but I did get my hands on a hundred of it, hundred of them. Queen Lime series, red. It's the only one out of the Queen Lime series that I'm growing for now. Orange, Benaries Giant. Deep red, Benaries Giant. I'm not a huge fan of red, but some people are. It's not all about what I like. It's about what other people like, because I'm not buying the bouquets. My customers are. Wine. A uh, neighbor of mine also uh, grows cut flowers uh, for sale. She does bouquets, and she also sells to our local florists. Has this one. Had this one last year. I really liked it. I thought it was beautiful. So uh, I made sure to get it this year. I'm really excited about doing the wine. Purple. I didn't grow many purple flowers last year, if any at all. Um, but uh, I made sure to get some purple this year. Lilac. This one looked beautiful. I'm so excited for this one. Sweet Annie. Uh, I planted some last week. I had some in, that I started indoors that I transplanted outside already. They're very small still. Uh, sunflowers. This is a daylight neutral sunflower. Uh, meaning that it doesn't need the, the hours of light doesn't affect how fast it grows. So this is a full sun improved. It was like a orangish color. It was, an, it was a basic orange sunflower, I believe. Here's another daylight neutral, the buttercream, which was a light, uh, a light, it was a, a light colored sunflower it was white 
with um, a dark center, also daylight neutral. Amaranth Tower Series. I haven't grown that one before. Uh, Atroplex. I used a lot of this last year. I wish I had more of it, so uh, I'll make sure to grow enough of it this year. I actually have some that reseeded and grow back of the red variety. Uh, this is a plume mix. So this one, uh, it's red and the green. It's it's silvery. It's got like an uh, the evanescence. Evanescence? No iridescent an iridescent look to it uh it kind of glistens it's a little silvery uh it, it was beautiful it was a great filler it was great textual filler it's got like these seeds that um these little seed pods on it and it reseeded really well uh here's celosia a uh, wool chinese wool flower i got this from baker's creek this year i've never had i've never used this one but i've never grown this one before uh it looked great it looked interesting so i thought i'd try it out runner beans Lady Runner Beans, let me show you these, these ones are amazing. They're huge. They're huge. That's like an inch long. These grew really well. They grew all summer long. It's, uh, it's a stem of, so it's a vine, and um, it, was, it worked really well in the backyard because we were able to grow it and not use any not use any ground space for it so right we just planted it in one spot and it um just grew up over the chicken coop and also over our patio and it throws out these stems with these large bean pods on it and they're about this big and um each plant throughout many throughout the whole season uh and they were like three inches long maybe that maybe that's longer than what they really were maybe they were like two inches long maybe two or three inches long and they are red maroon color dark purplish color um i've got a type of mum here i got these from flora i've never tried this before it looked really nice um the flora description uh says it has 15 to 20 stems per plant and it's a spray variety so it's really full with multiple uh flowers on each stem I thought I'd try it out. Cosmos, I'm gonna start this month. Cupcake blush. Double click cranberry. And snow puff, double click. This is what I'm planting this month in March. California zone 9B. Uh, if they don't grow, if they don't sprout because it's too early, I'll just start them again next month. Um, this is really, uh, most of them are experiment because they are warm loving plants and I don't know that the soil is warm enough yet, but we're going to try. Um, music in the background is Ona and my oldest son playing. Uh, they're just practicing and they're just fiddle farting around and I can't find a lot of time to record around here having two babies under the age of three and um, I'm in the office today. Ona singing in the background. Just a little bonus, I guess. All right, so that's it. Hope that's helpful to you if you're in California or if you're in Zone 9B anywhere else.